Hello, I'm Ida from the Dog Spotters. We're here at the Festival Center of Dog Leipzig. And today I want to talk about Dog Neuland, uh, the festival's exhibition for innovative virtual and augmented reality projects. Um, this year it's called Fluxus Opolis. And here with me is the new curator of Dog Neuland, Dana Milava. Thank you for taking the time today. We would like to get to know you better. Um, maybe you could tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, so I come to this role from the background as an artist and as a filmmaker um, and this has been really important for my approach as well and um, trying to understand what the artists want, how to support their virtual environment sometimes with um, a physical space and uh, I've actually had a film in the market in Doc before and that was my first interaction with the festival and now I work here. Nice. And um, how has your day-to-day -day work changed uh, since you started working at the festival? Um, <laughs> it's always a balance. Um, yeah, balancing your artistic practice with um, work um, and supporting other artists. And for sure, I've spent less time with my own projects. But in a way, this feels like an extension of it or using some um, artistic skills to support uh, the works on the show. Um, we handcrafted some things. Today I got to work with one of the artists with Christian Bjorn from Tales of a Nomadic City. We played with um, CRT TVs, uh, which is something that I use a lot in my own work. Um, but the first year it's always hard to, to figure out the balance and, and find my place within it. Yeah, but that sounds great. Yeah? So, yeah. I am quite tired, I don't know. <laughs> It's okay. okay. Um, for many years, uh, Lars Rummel curated Doc Neuland. Um, how do you intend to build on Lars' vision? Um, can we exact, uh, expect big changes in this year's exhibition? Wow. Um, Lars did a crazy job curating this uh, exhibition for, I think, eight editions? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and, like, actually established Doc Neuland, made it um, what it is now, um, both an important exhibition and interaction space for XR works, um, but also such an uh, easy way for audiences to engage with um, these projects and artworks. And so they're really big shoes to fill, and that was intimidating, it continues to be intimidating. Laz is a wonderful, wonderful, <laughs> kind person. Um, whose opinion matters a lot to me. Um, as far as changes go, yeah, that's the other thing that's, um, it's very different. Uh, what we're doing, of course, we're building upon what um, Laz and the whole Doc Neuland team created, um, uh, but we have also diversified the media. Um, so there are fewer VR 360 works and more AR works, games, and video installations that um, support the, yeah, that worked together. Um, and the biggest change is that we have four locations this year. So the exhibition is decentralized. There's no one space, but the different locations correspond to each other and together create the full meaning of Fuxusopolis. Um, the exhibition itself is so connected with the city and with ideas of change, of everything being in motion. And so the visitors themselves are in motion when they go from place to place. Um, the exhibition has always been free and really um, the, like, the visitors, the audience have always been so, so important to the exhibition. And we wanted to build on that and bring it back again also to the street and to public spaces. So we have Hauptbahnhof, which people just can come off the train or um, find it by mistake. The two galleries in the Zutvorstadt are street level, so people can just see it from the outside. And of course, the Mitt Mittelhalle and the Ebene Bika is always free throughout the year now. Um, so that was really important to us. Nice. And the theme of Doc Neuland this year is change. Um, what do you want to express with this year's exhibition? And do you have a specific message in mind? Well, I think it's important also for anyone who comes to figure out what that means to them through the projects themselves or through their juxtaposition, um, through their relationship to each other. But for me, I would say 
the way to create change, you first have to see possibilities and extended reality in different, the different mediums that, that create it really allow us to dive into different perspectives, to new worlds, to new ways of seeing things, to see other possibilities, to experience them physically, to be immersed in new ideas, um, and that's a driver for change. And so um, that was a big, big motivator for this team in a sense. But also, the, one of the first projects we found this year was Tales of a Nomadic City that I mentioned before, which um, looks at Nwakchot, the capital of Mauritania, and the, the speed in which it changes and how um, it's both um, static and ever-changing at the same time. It's still a city, it's still Nwakchot, but everything about it is in constant flow. And to me, it was like, looking at a paradox and realizing it's not a paradox. And so it's about seeing things that we take for granted or, or, or think they are well defined and seeing that their boundaries are actually quite fluid. Okay, yeah, that sounds really interesting. And we know uh, that as a curator, it's difficult to compare the different projects in, an, in your exhibition. Um, nevertheless, uh, do you perhaps have a favorite project uh, in this year's exhibition that you would particularly recommend to us? Not a favorite. No, I can't. I can't pick favorites. Like even selecting those ten projects in the exhibition plus one participatory film, which um, has two screenings this week, traces of responsibility. Each one of them kind of fills its own need in this space. And I can point out certain works that did something special um, to me personally, not as a curator, but just as a person. Um, the project Murmuration, which is a VR experience at Hauptbahnhof, um, made me cry the first time I saw it. It was really touching. Um, and I've gotten to see other people in the last days um, experience it in the process of building the exhibition and seeing how it affects them as well. Um, yeah, but they're, they're all incredible. and. Except for one project, all of the artists have come to Leipzig or will come to Leipzig this week, and that's incredible. Yeah, yeah that sounds really great. And then we wish you a nice festival week, and thank you for this interview. Thank you so much. <laughs> and as always, you can find uh, all our proje projects on our website www.minusquarters.de.